Okay, for this tutorial, we're going to do the uh, sketch plane cube. And so we're on our desktop here. Autodesk Inventor is the icon with a big I, big letter I. So double click on Autodesk. Sketch plane cube is a, a two inch cube that has a square extrusion, a circle extrusion, and a circle extrusion cut. And so I'm going to click on this to show you what it looks like first and then I'll go in to show you how to model it. So this is the sketch plane cube. This is what our product will be when we're all done. So you can see the entirety of the sketch plane cube. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of that. When you come here there's a couple different ways you can start the part. Number one you could just click here or you can go up to open and no, I'm sorry, not open new. And you want you would want to create an English standard part. You can see part right here. So English standard part. Or you can even go to the application menu up here and go to new. And it brings up the same option. So double click on standard. And this is our this is called the graphics window right here. This is where we're going to be doing all of our work. So first we need to start a sketch. Okay, so we're going to go up here and start a sketch. Click on start a sketch and most of the time, not all the time, but we're going to be working in the XY plane. So if you just hover over the XY plane, it <clears throat> turns gray. So let's click on that and now we're in sketch mode. Notice it says up here, finish sketch. That's because all of these options are about sketching. So we need to make a two inch by two inch square. So I hit the rectangle button. <clears throat> Notice when I come down here to the very center, it turns green. So I'm going to click once and let go. And then if I drag out, notice that I have uh, numbers that turn blue. That Those are the dimensions of your square. And I want it to be two. So I'm going to type in two there. Okay. And then tab, which is on the left side of your uh, keyboard and notice that the other number turns blue and I want to type in 2 again and push enter. Alright now it's done. Now if I go up here and hit this home button or the front button I'm going to be able to see my entire box. So let's push front and there's my 2 inch by 2 inch box. That's what we want to do for the first sketch. So I'm going to finish the sketch. Okay and again maybe just click the home button this time and that shows us the entire <clears throat> entire two inch by two inch square. Next we want to extrude that square out two inches and all this means is we're going to take the sketch and make it into a 3D object. So let's click extrude and it already recognizes it and it starts extruding it for you but it, it only extruded it to one inch. We need to extrude it to two inches. So go ahead and type in. If that number is blue, you can type. There's two and push enter. And now we have, and I'm going to hit my home button again. Now we have our two inch by two inch by two inch cube. All right. Now we're going to work on the, uh, let's do the square right here on the right side. All right. So I'm going to uh, notice when I hover over it, it turns gray. So let's hover over it. It's gray or lighter gray. And then I'm going to, I'm going to right click and I'm going to start a new sketch again. Show that again. Right click, start a new sketch. And there it is. All right. Now again, we're in sketch mode. So all of these options are about a sketch. Notice it says finish sketch. So we know we're in sketch mode. So we're going to do another square. So here we go. Rectangle. And then we, this rect, um, this square needs to be a one inch by one inch square. So I'm going to click once and we know and I'm going to type in one tab one and then enter. All right. So we have our one inch by one inch square, but as you notice that it is not at all centered on this side. So I'm going to show you how to center. We're going to click dimension. So click dimension once and notice when I go to the top of this box, it turns white. And I'm going to go to the top of my square. It turns white. And then, so I've clicked twice. And now it says the distance from the top to the bottom is 0.583. All 
All right, I'm going to click on that point 583, and now it lets me tell it how what, what the distance is, and we want it to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5, and the reason is 0.5. This is 0 0.5, and down here is 0.5. Now the box is one, and that equals two, so we know that it is dimensioned correctly. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Notice how it turns white. This also turns white, and I'm going to click on that 0.564, and I want to make it 0.5. Now that square is exactly centered on that side, and I pushed Finish Sketch, and we're going to extrude again. So I'm going to click Extrude and click on that square. Notice what happens. It made it 2 inches. We don't want it to be 2 inches. We want it to be 0.5, and there it is. So now we've got our square done. <clears throat> now we're going to do, again, this turns a light gray. We're going to right click on that light gray on this side. New sketch. Now for this one, we're going to do a circle on this side. And this circle, so click on circle. Come down, click once, and then drag out. And we want that circle to be one inch. So you're going to click one and enter. <clears throat> and then... We got our circle inside, but it is not exact the measurements on that side. So we're going to click dimension, click the top again, and click the center of your square. And it says it's 0.985, and we want that to be one inch. There it is. We need to do the same thing to this side. Click on the left side, click on the middle, and then click on the 0.977 and make it one. Now... We're going to finish sketch because we got our circle done and it's where we want it to be. And then we extrude that out. Click on, well, push extrude and then you might have to click on the circle. And click on the circle and it says it's at 0.5 and that's what we want it to be. Now we have two of our sides completely finished. Okay, now we just have one more hole to cut. <clears throat> so let's right click on the top now. Notice how it turns great. Right click. New sketch, and we're going to pull this up here, and we're going to do another circle right on the top. Okay, so click circle, and then click once and drag out. We're going to make this one inch again. There's my one inch, and as you can imagine, we're going to dimension it again, just like we did the last time. Click on the top, click on the center, and it's one inch. Click on the side, click in the center, that's one inch, and that is perfectly in the center of that side of the cube. So finish sketch, and we're going to extrude again, but there's something you'll need to <clears throat> do different than this side. So let's click on the circle that we want to extrude, but if you notice over here, the second one, if you hover over it, uh, it's not doing it, but if you click the second one right here, it's going to cut that's what that means. It's a different direction. So you click that, and it's down 0.5, and that's what we want. So I'm going to click Enter. And we have just made our sketch plane cube. It is completely done. All right.